the universe is 13.8 billion years old. So, what was the universe like in the beginning? Let's visit this early universe and see what is going on. If you were to appear in the universe 0.0001 seconds after the beginning of the Big Bang, well, you'd disappear immediately. Your brain would not even have the time to perceive what is going on. You would not even know it. And that's because the temperature would be around 10 trillion Celsius, and your body would vanish and turn into vapor. But you would also be the first atoms that appeared in the whole universe since atoms only appeared way after that. Your vapor, if it would exist in such temperatures, would be surrounded by a whole bunch of neutrons, protons and electrons wandering around. There were no atoms, but you would change that fact since you would be from the far future. Now, even if you were to appear 50,000 years after the beginning of the Big Bang, things wouldn't be that much different, but the temperature would be around 9000 Celsius and you would be pretty much dead within seconds as well. Unless you are equipped with a spacesuit that can save you from that, of course. Then you would be able to exist in the early universe, but it would not be transparent and you wouldn't see and feel anything at all. There were no photons and light back then. Now if you were to appear in the universe that's 380,000 years old, things would change as suddenly the universe would become transparent and there would be atoms. But our human eyes still would not catch any light as there would not be visible wavelengths. It would all be dark to us. But if you have an instrument that would allow you to see microwave wavelengths of light, then you would see that cosmic microwave background radiation and you would see that blast of light in all directions. Now, after that event, appearing a million years after the beginning of the Big Bang, you would notice that it would all be very dark. This would be the time in which the universe entered the Dark Ages. And if you were to appear during this time, not much would be going on and there would be no visible light, meaning no visible wavelengths. Only the old cosmic background radiation that would now be dimmer. But the universe would be transparent. These dark ages lasted for about 140 million years, until all that gas got together and turned into a star. So if you were to appear and visit the universe at about 140 million years after the beginning of the Big Bang, only then would you notice a difference. Why? Well, you would see the first glimpses of visible light in the whole universe. You would see stars. One such star is Methuselah which is the oldest known star in the universe, being approximately 13,660,000,000 years old, meaning it was formed 140 million years after the beginning. If you were to appear near this star shortly after the formation, finally you would be able to observe your hands with a spacesuit and you would not feel blind. And looking into the deeper space, you would also notice other specks of light, which would be other stars. But besides that, there would not be anything else. You would not observe any galaxy bend stretching across. That's because there would be no galaxies during this time. Now let's visit the universe 1 billion years after the beginning of the Big Bang. Appearing at such a time in the universe, if you were near a star, you would notice that there would be a galaxy bend and there would be some supernovas surrounding you. The universe would seem a lot more alive and colorful through your human eyes. There would even be planets. Landing on one of them, of course, would depend, but in general, none of the planets would have some complex life forms, since there would not be enough time for them to evolve into something. But by using a microscope, on maybe some rare planet you may find the earliest forms of life in the universe. Likely they would be very simple but it would still be astonishing that you got to observe such early life forms. That is pretty much it for the early universe. The video covered a lifespan of the universe of its first billion years of existence and it covered most of the noticeable changes that happened in the universe throughout that time. So we should keep on thinking about these topics, 
is then we can understand what is this universe that is surrounding us.